All right. So in this video, I will walk through some updates around CSV importing and exporting. I have a CSV export here, which was done with MS project. And if I drag in the CSV file for the first time, I get my field mapping dialog here. So that's a unique ID in MS projects to identify different tasks. The title is called name. The trade is in the list as well. I do not have a link. I do not have a description. So I'm going to skip those. Start date is an important one. So I pick that here and this is a format it recognizes. So we are automatically mapped, which is great. And then an end date as well. And then what I will also do, that's new functionality, I would like to have the area, which is a separate column, to show up as a label on my imported tasks. So I set this and save mapping, and that opens up the dialog. So far, so good. I will select all of them and then it tells me that it can place them on the plan. So I do that and they get imported and they will get imported in the first swim lane. So a couple of things here to note. First of all, you can see that all the imported tasks have this import label visible. And if you have it, we provide a little bit more information about the import as well. You can first of all see the import ID. So again, that is a unique number for the task and from the original tool. So if it says import ID three here, that means the task has the ID three in that MS project file. And if you'd like to find it very quickly in MS project, that's basically the ID you have to look for. We also show you the import file name. So if you keep all the exports in a single place, you can find out directly where that data was imported from. And we will also give you import timestamps so you know when it was imported. And then that is essentially that additional label that I wanted to have displayed on the task as well. So you can see here that it shows up as area one, area two, area three, and you can pick any random color to show up here as an additional field. But this really allows you to kind of customize the information that you would like to pull out So let's assume that we want to make a couple of changes to those tasks. So I'm moving this one over here, for example, or I'm double clicking here and adding some detail. What you can see here is that the import label has changed to a modified label. And that's important if you'd like to have the information to be transferred back into the project either manually or maybe via an export. So instead of you having to search for all the tasks that have been modified, you can simply go inside the panel. And if you go to the filter section, because the CSV import and the CSV export are available as a label here, I can pick and it shows me those two tasks right away. So I see frame electric and install drywall have been marked as modified and I can very quickly jump to those files as well. So that's the easiest way to spot where changes have been made. And maybe that's already sufficient. Maybe that's all you need to do. Basically look at those two files, find the changes manually and convert them or transfer them back into the project. But if you'd like, you can now export specifically your future selection here. So there's a new CSV export option available. If I click that, we open export mapping dialog. So that's kind of the counterpart to the import mapping. And you can see all the different data fields that are available for tasks. And there's a few more than what you can use for import because we also give you things like how many weeks, for example, the task is spending, or if you would like to see something that has been imported or modified and has a warning on that as well. 
So that's additional data that gets generated within Hoilu. So now I can say, all right, I'm interested in all of that data and I can export it. I will download a CSV export file for me. And if I open that up, you can see that I have two entries here because that's what I was looking for. So now you can see all the data and the changes here. So if I go over here, it says that it has been modified. So that's something you can do to get a short list of things that have been modified. But since we have started from a CSV import, you might not be interested in all of that data. You might just be interested in specific fields. There's a couple of ways to get there. One is to basically just reset all of those fields and pick the ones you like. So maybe you're interested in title and start and end date, and you can also customize how those labels in the end should be called. So these fields that you set here correspond to the column headers in the CSV. And to streamline that a little bit more, you have done a CSV import before but if you go up here, there's a couple of presets I have saved already myself, but there's one by default that is the CSV import mapping. So if I click that, you can see some of the fields that I've picked and it shows up here by default and I can hit export again. But if you need a different preset, maybe you have a specific preset for Power BI templates and it's available for everyone that uses the workspace. So that covers the CSV export. Another interesting thing to note here is that maybe we'll do another export here with all of the data and all of the fields enabled. So one thing that is different from our original export is that for the export here, if we have a field or a task that is spending multiple weeks Previously, we used to split that up as a task per week. So you could do offline PPC calculation in Excel, but since that is not something that we offer natively within the application, here we are consolidating that into a single task. So this is a task here that spends multiple weeks, and you can see which weeks are covered here, and now it makes it much more easy to archive the data. But then it makes it much more easy to re-import that into other tools. Like I said before, MS Project or even P6. It also makes it much easier to re-import information back into Hoylet. So if you quickly need to archive some stuff and you would like to get it back in, that is much easier with the export format. So let's assume that we've made a couple of changes, we have exported them, and now brought them back into the project. And now we'd like to make some further changes in MS Project, or we have other information we need to bring in. We have also made one additional change to the import side. So let's assume that we have an update for CSV for that CSV with new changes coming in. And if I drop that in again, by default, nothing will show up because we have already imported those fields. But if I click show already imported, we get a second option available here that says update previously imported tasks. If I check this and select the task that I would like to import, hover over here, and in that case, it will tell me that zero elements will be placed on the plan. So zero new elements will come in, but 27 elements in the plan will be updated. So we have found matching IDs for all of those tasks, and it will update with that new information and place on the plan and also place them in the correct spot on the plan. So if necessary, it will move them to a different place. And if the date, for example, has changed, 
import will just bring in the raw data and it will not bother with placing them because they might just be something on the whiteboard. So if I hit place on plan here, you can see it'll take a moment, run through all of the tasks, and you can see that the task series has changed. There's a couple of new trade assignments and the elements that we have moved before move back into their original place. So if you have spent time, you know, distributing tasks across multiple swim lanes, and you don't want to invest that same time again, updating the task is a great way to get the most up-to-date information. So I hope this is helpful. And we are actively asking people to reach out and see if they have comments or questions or ideas. We definitely want to make sure that we're covering various use cases in those fields. So thanks a lot. Hope to hear from you soon.